Best practices for enrolling devices include There are a few ways to enroll a PowerG device depending on the device you wish to enroll. Devices with an ID button and devices without. Enrolling with an ID button press and hold until the LED starts to flash amber color. To enroll a device without an ID button, simply power those devices up by inserting the provided batteries. In this example, we show a PG9945 with an ID button. With the Enroll button identified, press and hold until you see the LED flash and amber color. A few of the devices that do not have enroll buttons include the PG9936 smoke detector and the PG9903 mini door contact. For those devices without an enroll button, simply inserting the battery will act as the enrolling method. Enroll this PG9945 by pressing the enroll button located inside and under the tamper switch as indicated by this highlighted circle. Install the battery. Now from the installer app, launched on your device. Touch, configuration, touch installation, touch devices, touch security sensors, touch the plus button, touch start auto learn mode. Then proceed to the device you wish to auto learn to the IQ Pro Press and hold the enroll button until the yellow LED illuminates, and then release. Once added into IQ Installer, touch Save. Now it's time to focus a little more on some best practices with PowerG devices. We are going to focus on the placement test LED as shown here. LED can change status based on signal strength. This happens at each PowerG device. This LED will change in color. We will start with green. A green LED means a strong connection. A yellow LED means a good connection. And a red LED means a weak connection. As a best practice, ensure that the LED on all PowerG devices is flashing green. Now, let's pretend we are in a school and want to determine the signal strength of that door down this hallway. I guess it's a little too far away currently. Utilizing the onboard LED on every PowerG device we can test the placement location signal. This placement test allows the signal strength of the PowerG device to be determined from the device. The way this happens is with the device tamper. By touching the tamper, with the PowerG device enrolled, we can see how strong of a connection each PowerG device has back to IQ panel from each PowerG device. Whenever you tamper with a device, place the cover back on. You will wait 15 minutes to test the signal strength of that device. The way this is done on this PG9945 door sensor is by removing the magnet from the contact. First, you will see a red LED flash indicating the magnet has been removed from the contact. Then that will be followed by the signal strength represented by three flashes of a certain color depending on your signal strength. Say it's a big environment or you get distracted by a phone call or something similar and the test window expires. If the 15 minutes expire before you are done testing, simply re-tamper the device to start the timer again. With PowerG, we have eliminated the need to run back to the panel or open the IQ Installer app. Simply look at what the LEDs are telling you on the PowerG device. There is simply no guesswork with PowerG. Using the tools provided, you can make it before you fake it. Now let's go outside and review a scenario where we walk test the property before the job is sold. Imagine you received a request to walk this school property to determine signal strength before the job is sold. You temporarily power up the IQ Pro in this first building and program a PG9945 into the system. Now, you begin to walk with the PG9945 and you reach the end of the first path. You stop and take the magnet away from the device to check the signal strength now that you're a little farther away from the IQ Pro. You see green so you keep moving to the first location where they want a sensor to be placed on a new building that will be placed near the field. You remove magnet again to test. You see green so you keep moving to the next location where they want a sensor to be placed in the building adjacent to the field. Now, you test again by removing the magnet. Ah man, this time it's yellow. You remember the best practice mentioned earlier about the LED should be green. So, what can you do to improve the signal strength? This is where one of the repeaters can come into play when needed. Up to eight repeaters can be added to an IQ Pro. Note, 
The repeaters don't repeat each other, but they act as signal posts within the environment. So, to increase the signal strength at that location, you can install program APG9920 and walk test with that device. This repeater has a little different way to test its signal strength since a magnet is not present. The repeater has two different buttons located on the circuit board. One is for the enrollment and labeled enroll, and the other, as labeled, is the test LED. When you test with this device, you use the test LED button to test this device with the cover off. You still need to tamper this device to start the timer, but you can leave the cover off while testing. The repeaters do use an outlet for power. However you can, if fully charged, use the battery to test signal strength. How long does the battery last with a test? Depends on the situation and how many times you press that button. It should last the length of your test, though. Now that we have that understanding, let's move on with our testing. So, like before, you get to the end of this pathway. You press the test LED button on the repeater. Remember, just like we discussed before, you will see one red LED, first indicating transmission request start, followed by your signal strength, represented by a flashing color. We have omitted that red flash for the sake of our animator's sanity. LOL. You're good. Three green flashes, so let's move on. Now that, now that you've arrived again at the farthest building, you take your repeater. You retest with the repeater this time by pressing the test LED button. All good now. You know that the repeater has great communication back to the IQ Pro. Therefore, any device in that building, providing proper LED test for each device, will be able to talk to the repeater or talk to the transceiver in the main building in the IQ Pro. Thank you for watching IQ Pro Best Practices. This concludes the second module in this series of videos for IQ Pro. Please proceed to the next video entitled Connecting IQ Pro Using IQ Installer Application.